What is going on guys, it's Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. Right now, we're gonna watch this SUV, this deal. And right now, we're gonna get the things that we need. Come on, you say, like I said in the other videos, I use this for, for when I detail SUVs. So for this detail, we're gonna need it. Cause as you can see, it's pretty high. So we have all the chemicals right here. And when we need it, we'll just take them off so we can use it. For this detail is um, oil and tire cleaner, degreaser, um, degreaser my bad, uh, wax, soap, and all the and all the good stuff. So we we'll need to get. Um, I'm pretty sure these rims have um, clear coat, so I can use the Maguire's. Uh, so I can use the Maguire's wheel binder, but I don't want to risk it, so we're gonna use the. Uh, the safe for all rims. This one's really good, actually. It's I think it's the same thing. But yeah, we're gonna use this just in case. We'll use this, and we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use soap for later. So right now we're just gonna get the pressure the pressure washing out. So here it is, guys. Uh, Pressure washer, my best friend. Aww. So for all the details, this this pretty much does all the job because it it removes 95% of all the all the dirt and grime, and the other 5% is just me with the chemicals going in. So we'll use this. This is a, a short one because it comes with this one. This is the the stock one. So you put this on, and it's like. It's not really convenient for me, so I bought this on Amazon like for 60 bucks. It's really good quality. It's plastic and the bronze connectors. And here it is. This is a Ryobi electric pressure washer. 1,600 PSI. It's perfect for car detailing. Not too high, not too low. And that's pretty much it. We gotta get the hose. Next step is connect the, the other hose that goes from the pressure washer to the little to little gun, the little sprayer. So we gotta set up the first step in any detail, the wheels and the wheel oils. So this will get the most of the daring grime eliminated. I always have to do the other one. And so I'll, ca I'll catch you guys as soon as we do the, as soon as I hit it with the second hand with the, deep, with the chemicals and stuff. 
So right now, guys, we're gonna hit the wheel well and the tires with the chemical with the degreaser. And we're just gonna let it soak in like for about 30, 30 seconds. So, it, so we really have to give it time so it picks up. <coughs> Sorry, guys. We have to give it time to pick up all the, all the dirt and grease. Make sure you get the tire really good. The back and the front. Don't mind my machine. My pressure washer is kind of crazy. Like me. It's okay though. I still love it. Uh, so we hit it just like that. We're soaking for about 30 seconds. And while it works like that, we're gonna hit the, the rim with this El Estoril Yasam. We hit it just like that. We're gonna hit the back rim. There. Here you go. All right. Really good. We're gonna let it soak in for about five more seconds. Okay, so now I'm gonna brush tires. Now we're gonna hit the rims. Make sure you get all the all the and everything on the rims. Spray it like that. You have to really get in the lug nuts too. You can even spray a lot into it. Alright, so now we were done scrubbing off everything. We're gonna spray it off. This is the, the satisfying part. Like I said, as soon as you hit that, the chemical is going to come out with all the dirt. Woo! So right now guys, after I hit the rim, I'm just checking all the cracks to see if I missed any spots and just llenarlo de, de clean. Give it a second pass. All the, all the tracks like that. Let's see, yeah, see, yeah, see. I was gonna say something, but it's kind of weird. Should I say it? Yeah, it's like when you shower, you have to get every little part. Like that. Say something. Like that, and we'll give it a second, second test, just to see if it collects any more dirt. If it stays white, that means that you're good. But if it turns yellow, it means that it looks like right here. We, we need to do a second test, so it turns yellow. So this chemical reacts to the dirt, so as soon as it picks up dirt, it turns, it turns kind of yellow brownish. But if it stays white, you're good. Like right here, right here is good. Go well, right there. No, never mind. Not bad. Right here is dirty. As you see, it's picking up dirt. So we need to give it a second pass. Boom, 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 boom. Make sure you got the edge of it. Also got the, the inside. And 
and if you can't get to a spot, it's easy to just spray it on the brush. Like for example, up here. All right, so now it's time to give it the second spray off. Alright guys, so this is the last wheel and I want you guys to really see how dirty this is, so come on, come closer. Uh, the wheel well, like you rub with your finger and it doesn't come off. The tire, the barrel and everything. So right now guys, we're done with the wheels. We're gonna do the, the, whole, the whole car now. We're gonna spray it off. I wanna give it a, the, the, the best the bath with the shampoo, the car shampoo. So for this for this detail we're gonna use uh washing wax. It's it's really like um it's really like wash and wax, two in one, but it doesn't work trust me. So I'm just gonna use it as a shampoo and I have a separate wax for it. Alright, so we're gonna need this and a thumb pen and this is the this is a good one. So you can scrub the card and then we're gonna, we're gonna use we're gonna use this matte CC no foam mass um foam canyon doesn't really doesn't really matter the foam canyon you use in my opinion they're all good so, so don't go don't go around spending 70 dollars on the chemical guys one the 16 dollar amazon one is the same thing as the 70 dollar chemical guys one i mean just saying if you want to go extra uh, extra mile go for it but in my opinion you gotta stay if you want to stay in your budget, this is the same thing. So, we're gonna do... A, a lot of people say, um, oh yeah, you have to dilute it. I, I don't really know how, so... So I just, I just do it. I just pour a lot. Well, not a lot, but... So somewhat. Fill it up with soap. And fill it up all the way with water. So we're gonna take our bucket. I don't know if they're hands in it. My hands are really dirty. They're not that dirty, but. Uh, we'll just dump it in, I guess. Something bad happened right now. I don't know if we have yet, and it fell on the floor. We have to get a new one. It's all good. You can still use it for like the wheels and stuff. But yeah, guys, if you're washing it, it's on the floor. Doesn't work anymore. Because all these microfiber, all these microfibers, they pick up all the even the tiniest rocks you, you can't see, and then you run the risk of scratching the cart. So we're gonna grab a new one. I'm gonna grab a new one from right here. And remember, it's always important to remove the tag so you don't scratch it as well. Right, so now you have your new microfiber. We're gonna place it right here so it doesn't fall. And we're gonna get the soap. The car soap. So, whichever soap you use on the foam canyon, use it on the bucket. It's okay if you have different ones, but we're gonna pour. About just like that. A little bit not too much because I already have some right there. The more lubrication you have, the better. You gotta keep on falling. Alright, so we're gonna get the pressure washer. And we're gonna do some magic. You guys ready for the magic? Just like that, you have your your soap on the stuff ready to go. So the next step after you're done with the wheel is spraying off the whole car. So we're gonna start with the roof. Always start from top to bottom.
filter right here, even though we hit it with the water, it's still it's just, the dirt is still stuck. So that's the second test we do with the, with all the soap. You have eight sides, eight sides in my bed, eight sides on the towel, so you just have to fold it. When you're, when you're doing it, you try to go straight, you don't go in circles, but that's how you create swirl marks. Swirl marks is like the little circles that you see in the car when the, when the sun hits it, so you have to go straight. washer does most of the job but don't get, cut, don't get comfortable with it because you have to do the rubbing
here, I messed up. I started from the bottom. Up. As you see, it's more work. It's more, it's more mess. First, I like to give it the first pass of the squeegee because this one needs. That's what it's called. And if you're laughing while you're watching this video, that's what it's called. Squeegee. It's called a car squeegee. <laughs> it's called a car squeegee. Or squishy. I don't know what it's called, but something like that. I like to use it because it removes a lot of the water from me. And then after that, after I give it the pass, this one I just go around with the with the chamois, that's what it's called. I go around with the chamois and I dry it. I don't like to use this though when the car is like really, really wet because if it doesn't have that much um, lubrication, you can scratch it. So like right here, where I use it, just a little bit. And if you're washing it in the sun, and you get watermarks in the, in the, water, in the window, if you don't, in the glass. If you don't do that, I recommend you I go, do I go, I give the glass a second, a second pass really with, the, with the glass thing. Your work isn't that professional if you have watermarks on the car. But, if you don't, if you want to avoid getting watermarks, drive really fast. Let me take the time, so here, like right here, you can see like on the water. When you're using this, it's better if you hear the water come up. Because if you don't, I mean, it's, it's too dry, you might be scratching. All right, guys. So now that you washed the car and dried it, we're gonna hit the, the windows with the second hit, the invisible glass. This will, if you didn't dry it correctly or if you have water spots, this will help remove it. But if you didn't, it will help. It helps clean it more than just the soap. So you spray it on. I like to spray one because you can just spray a little bit, and with the microfiber, you just spread it around. Like this. And at the end, just go and move it all off. And you do this for all the windows. Finish, um, and then with the clean the, side, you just throw the tire shine. Remove it. All the black thing. The mirrors. It looks like wax. For, now it's time for the last step. It's uh, waxing the car. But today we're going to be using uh, this turtle wax. Wax and dry. It's supposed to be like you wash the car, you skip drying, and you uh, spray it on. But um, I don't really like doing that. I like drying it first and then putting it on, so it grabs onto it more. So we're just gonna give it a few sprays because we're gonna spread it. One, two, three, and just like that, you fold your microfiber towel like this, and you just go in circles. Spread it all even around. Right and what I recommend you do when you apply the wax is do it panel by panel. And you let it, once it's all spread around, you let it dry. Well, you don't let it, well, yeah, you, you let it dry for about uh, 30 seconds. So, we did all this, we can do the, the lights as well. We went to the wrong panel, but okay. So we're gonna finish this one, and then we're gonna go to the other side. And by the time we finish the same panel, we just go go back to the other one and wipe it off. 
So one, two, three. You switch sides. You do the same thing. And as we let it dry and stick on the paint, we're going to remove the other one. We're going to remove the, the polish that's, that's left. So you want to do the same thing and that's pretty much it for the whole car you just gotta do panel by panel let it dry a little bit and then to remove the excess the excess polish wax six hours later guys wax. we're done with the car SUV. like i said it's easier to do panel by panel with the paint with wax the paint the mirrors the mirrors the the window the window all the windows this is a black trim. All the black trim all around the car. We did the, the rims and the, the tires. And we also did, we did this whole front, all the chrome. And here it is guys, six hours later. We're done with the car. The